up everybody body 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 and welcome back to another marvel snap video 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 so today guys of course bring you all a brand new deck and this deck guys this is a loki negative deck so just like typical negative decks we do have a lot of um kind of like you know three zero five zero cards because uh, you want Mr. Negative to hit those cards. Um, ultimately, you want these cards to be in your deck. You know, you want Iron Heart, Mystique, Morph uh, to be in your deck. Because um, then, when you play Mr. Negative on hopefully turn four, um, you can swap their costs around. So then they do become zero costs. Um, however, if you don't get Mr. Negative, that is why we have Loki, because as you guys can see, I do have a bunch of, you know, three zero five zero cards. Uh, but since we don't have Mr. Negative, I can play Loki, I can swap them out. Um, I know they're running a discard anyway, they're actually running a dump, because they have a strong guy, which is interesting. Um, and then, of course, we have Mighty Thor, because when you play Mr. Negative, you have a lot of zeros. You want Mighty Thor to kind of get them all into your hand. Um, honestly, I feel like Dark and Right into Silver Samurai mid is pretty good. Um, but this deck, it definitely has a lot of like ways to win, which is pretty nice. And it's also just one of those really um interesting ones that I feel like it can go either way. Um, it can either be a really good deck or a not so great one. Of course, they can be Mr. Negative now. Um, I might... I might go Gambit right. Um, or I can go Gambit mid. I've got to hurt my Gambit hit someone like their dog or whatever, but they go Hellcat right. Of course, Proxima helps them. Yeah. That's unfortunate for us, isn't it? I mean, we definitely had a good chance to win, but that Proxima definitely helped in Gambit. Didn't hit the right card, but regardless, GG Smybro. Alright, first up is Lake Hellas, which kind of sucks because we don't have any one drops. I think this person's running just like a typical Loki deck. Uh, we do have Havoc, which is nice, but again, he's one of those cards. We actually have a lot of cards that we want Mr. Negative to hit, so pretty unfortunate that we have like all of them in our hand. Um, do I just go more, more for Iron Heart? I mean, Murder World destroys our Squirrel. So I think I might just go Morph on the right. Um, I don't know what card it could hit. I mean, hopefully it's a good one, right? And it's Snow God Bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, that's not too bad, actually. Um, I can go Loki. Oh, do I even want to go Loki is my question. Like, I know I... Okay, because I was going to say, I know I have all these cards, and I know they're all, like, zero power, but Iron Heart could help. Havoc gets pretty big, and then Iron Man doubles power, so, like, I felt kind of good, but regardless, GG's to my brand Alright, first up, Death's Domain. Very similar to the first game we had. Uh, but Sunspot's pretty nice, because, again, you're skipping quite a few turns. And he can get pretty strong. Uh, we also have Machine World, which I can maybe drop a morph down there. Because I know they probably don't want that. Um, they actually give me a Zabu, which is unexpected. And then we also have Nowhere, so I'm actually going to go Raverna. Uh, Raverna over Zabu, just because these guys are going to drop in cost. Um, you know, my Iron Man, Morph, and Iron Eye. I mean, Loki still looks pretty good, but again, since I have Ravona, I mean, 
this dude, he gave me Wong, so that's interesting, um, I think I go Iron Man, and then I go Mystique mid, which I know, I'm giving them my Mystique, but I don't know who they're going to copy, I actually think they're just running an on reveal deck, so they're probably going to go what, White Tiger into Odin, or something like that. But if I go Iron Man, and then I go Mystique mid, and then turn 6, I can just flood. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing here. Uh, but, I mean, I have... Can I not just do something like this, and then we can just go absolutely nuts? Um, yeah, how strange. <laughs> Um, I don't know who it is they're playing on the left. Oh, it's Professor X. Okay, that's, uh, interesting. I, surprisingly, this is just, um, yeah. Surprisingly, this is just the Wong. Like, I find that pretty interesting. I actually don't know if we win this one. I'm probably gonna go Loki into what I not. Does this win? Probably not. They probably go. Who do they play mid? There's no way it's Ironheart, is it? It could be. They can go Ironheart mid and then someone else on the right. But yeah, this is just so, so weird. <laughs> Such a weird uh, game this is. Because I have, what, two Iron Man, I have a Wong. I mean, hopefully we should get a lot of power, no. Okay, they just go White Tiger. Um, I think they beat us. Yeah, barely. Definitely a game we could have won, but I mean, it is what it is. So, GG's to my friend. Alright, very nice. Um, opening hand. Cloning Fat is also pretty good. Um, I mean, I do have Havoc, but I'm not going to play him. Wow. Um, I mean, Mr. Negative would have been nice to have. Because we are getting a lot of cards that I would love to get their um, costs swapped around. Uh, but we do have Cosmo. Cosmo's not too bad. Uh, they, I guess, are running a collector deck. And we have the big house, so... Not great. <laughs> I'll say that. It's definitely not looking great. Um, I mean, I guess I just go morph. See who we can copy. Uh, they drop a storm. So I might be able to play Havoc mid. Okay, well, we copy their Morbius. That's nothing crazy. <laughs> I do get Mr. Negative, uh, tempting, but I think I'll go Havoc instead. I mean, Mr. Negative is always very, very tempting to play. Uh, but I can't play Professor X, that's fine. I could go Raverna. Um, Raverna's not too bad, but it is turn five. So, we are kind of stuffed. Maybe I just do Ironheart spam. Even though she's only hitting Havoc and Morbius. Um, I mean, this dude has, what, five cards in his hand. So, he kind of needs to flood the board a little bit. I don't think the big house helps him. And then cloning vats probably doesn't help either. So, who knows who this Dracula's going to hit. But my Havoc should be, what, like a 12 power. Potentially more than 12. So, I feel pretty good, unless they discard, like, a Destroyer or an Infinite. But, yeah, it's not looking too good. Um, I mean, Mr. Negative would have been alright. But, again, with flooding and stuff, yeah, I don't know if that would have really helped. I mean, maybe I could have, like, top deck my Iron Man, that would have been nice. Oh, okay, well, he's got an Apocalypse. Um, I'm, to be honest, I think he's just going to drop Apocalypse instead of 
is saving him for his Dracula. And there's my Iron Man, so it's not looking great. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely not looking too great. Because what? I just go Iron Heart and that's it. But even my Iron Heart's not going to help. So I think I just have to retreat, which sucks because. I mean, it was a winnable, winnable-ish game, but just kind of got unfortunate there, so GG's to my opponent. But I mean, yeah, guys, yeah, guys, yeah, guys, that is it for this video, video, video. Let me know what you guys think about this deck down in the comments below. And also, if you guys did enjoy, please make sure to give this one a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, show your support. I do appreciate all of it. And as always, guys,